for our Blitz phone interview as we hit the phone line to find Tanya Martin, head softball coach at Towns County High School. Tanya, thank you for joining us on Blitz today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, talk a little about your uh, softball team this year. Towns County has gotten off to a pretty good start going 5-7 and seven so far, uh, which ties the win total from a year ago as you took over the reins this year of that program. How pleased are you with the results so far? Oh, I'm extremely excited. Um, these girls have came to practice every day working hard, and they're focused, and um, we have really came together as a team and, and not so much as individuals this year, which is very exciting. And um, we're hoping to roll a few more wins over into that bracket. That would be nice. Now, from what I understand, you brought back a lot of talent and experience this season. Uh, talk about the quality you're getting from the six seniors you have and the returning starters. The six seniors have been amazing to walk into. They have shown leadership and discipline, and they're really um, they're proud of their program, and they are training these underclassmen and how this program works. And it has been amazing um, to walk into such, such a gifted group of seniors. We've got um, two holding down the outfield, and we've got um, the rest of them in the infield, and we're getting big hits from them and, and huge defensive plays from them, which is nice um, in tight situations. Yeah, the defense is definitely nice, but you also hit on the offense there, and that's kind of where I was going next. Home runs and offensive power kind of comes at a premium in high school softball, seemingly here in northeast Georgia, and particularly it seems, if I'm not mistaken, at, at Towns County history kind of unprecedented. Talk about the long ball power within your lineup and how much your team kind of thrives off that. Um, we've got Claire Wilson and Emily Anderson with home runs already this year. Um, pretty sure Emily Anderson, our senior at that first base or third, uh, has got three so far um, over the over the fence home runs. She's got, I think, two uh, in the park home runs. Uh, she swings big, but she's she's not afraid to just uh, put the ball in play, which what what helps her the most um, is just wanting to put the ball in play, and, and her technique is what gives her power. And Claire Wilson um, has has some over the fence home runs as well. Um, what I like about Claire is that she can hit over the fence, but she can all she can also bump the ball for us. And in tight situations, she's done well and got on base. So the power is there for both of them, but they're smart about it and and they use it when the time the time comes. But they're they're still versatile players. Now the Lady Indians were were held in Region Eight Single A in the realignment process that took place, um, you know, after last season. Uh, therefore, you're mostly unfazed by that, and I know this is your first year, but uh, you've had two games in, within the region so far. What's the competition seemingly look like this year within that region? Um, the competition is, uh, is fierce, which I, I like being in a fierce uh, region because that, that's going to prepare us for um, postseason playoffs and, and such. And, and with the realignment of uh, power ranking, it, it actually helps us to be in a fierce region and the competition is strong. 